Hello everyone, I am Ale and welcome to Solo Cose Nove. Today I want to talk about my most favorite camera, absolutely, Lumix G7. Not only the love for the vintage, but choosing the G7 in the 24 is still an option given its wonderful features. What I'm looking for in the user experience. I tested lots of mirrorless camera here in this channel, but a few remains in my heart. And it's not about the features or the price. The thing is, if the object is comfortable and easy to use, it will become part of us. I talked about it in my free course on the website solocosenove.it. The problem is not the tool, but the photographer. If an object is uncomfortable to use, I will forget about it. I found very few practical cameras and in line with my needs. For example, I used a lot the GF1, huge limitations, but I loved it and I'm thinking about buying another one. Also the G85 that I took with me on the trip to Malaga and I had a G9 with fantastic features and much more efficient, but I didn't fall in love with it. Test on the field. As I made with the G3, I'm shooting a little vlog here in the car, so you can see the differences. Right now I'm holding the camera with my hand, there is probably a little shaking in the image, but this time the lens is stabilized, because it's the 1445, by the way a lens that I'm loving. We will see it in the future, the camera sensor is stabilized and the lens is stabilized. It would be lead uh, on a better image, even if I'm holding it with my hands, so it could be a little shaking. I'm not using the internal microphones, because this camera have uh, a mic input, and you can hear the original sound on the Italian channel. So here I'm using the Rode Video Micro, an object that I already reviewed in the past, and it's perfect to vlogging. There's not so much noise here, because I'm here in a closed environment, so I'm quite isolated. But this mic is a mini shotgun with directional input, and the audio should be quite good. The image itself wouldn't be so bad, thanks to the stabilized lens, and this combo with the camera and stabilized lens and the road video micro. It's wonderful to vlog outside, obviously if you don't want to use the smartphone for the vlog, but the image from a camera should be better, obviously, if you know what you're doing and if you set it properly. But for this kind of information, you can join to my newsletter with a micro photography course, obviously it's free on the usual website uh, solocosanova.it but let's back to the main video what I love of the Lumix G7 let's go back to the G7 the best thing is that uh, it have uh, button wheels and function in the right place it's a practical, immediate to use, uh, easy it's almost in plastic and some people hate it uh, but I love this sensation this makes it uh, a very light uh, camera and it's essential to me and the defects? Yes, of course, uh, there is uh, one thing that I don't really like, but the difference is little, is the video recording bitrate. Despite the camera is capable uh, to capture a high resolution image, and it uh, still can shoot in 4K, the bitrate is not a uh, high like in uh, the GH4. Furthermore, even if you want to pay it because Panasonic sold it, you can't install a vlog profile. Final considerations. G7 is a bestseller and iconic. Many use it because it's practical and easy to use. You can consider it an entry-level camera, but uh, it's not. And right now it's on the top on my Microforts uh, third camera list. By the way, I'm leaving you some purchase link down here in the description. In the meantime, if you like this video, please leave a thumb up, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so you won't miss any content like this and help the channel to grow. Thanks! Furthermore, on the website solocosanova.it you can find everything about the Solocosanova world. Thank you for following me also for today and see you in the next exciting video. Ciao!